Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. And today we're doing a Jomar unboxing of men's pre-owned career button-down shirts. My Jomar men's box has arrived and I wanna start processing it, but I wanted to show you what I got first. So as a reminder, I ordered this box and also the women's pre-loved uh, denim shorts box. It had 20 pairs of shorts and then this one is the men's button down and career pre-loved 30 pack. So there are 30 items in here. I ordered these on December 24th when Joe Mar was doing their um, like up to 60% off deal. And so this button down career plus casual shirts was originally $120, which I definitely would not pay that much for this box. Um, and it, I believe it was 60% off, so I got it for $48. With shipping and everything, my total order was $102.90 for both boxes, giving my average cost per goods, if I want to keep all of the items, at $2.06. I have opened this and I have looked through it because my track record with Jomar is not so great and I didn't want to wait too long. But that was about a week ago and I honestly don't remember what's in here. So we're going to go through it together. I have the box over here. I have cut off a portion of the box so it's not hitting me in the face. And I'm going to start with my favorite because I left it on top. <laughs> it is a Tommy Hilfiger size extra large and it says custom fit coupe sur measure which i believe is french but look at this beautiful color wow it's very detailed in terms of all of like the stitching and everything button front i mean these are all button down shirts so button down button front I just really liked the colors on this and this seems to be in really nice condition. Needs a lint roll for sure. Next up is a like micro corduroy. It is Brooks Brothers Red Fleece, which I've never heard of red fleece before. It kind of looks like an older Brooks Brothers tag, size small. Now this is a button down because it has the buttons here that the collar attaches to. So I can use those keywords of button down. And then it's just a navy blue shirt, long sleeves. And let's see what kind of buttons, just white or clear-ish buttons. And this also seems to be in gently pre-owned condition. This is a Wrangler Jeans Company size extra large. This is a different tag that I've never seen before. 100% cotton and it is uh, like a mini stripe of gray and yellow and white. Button front. Of course, none of these are buttons so you can't really see the full effect of them. But they again have these like clear cream buttons. And I was pleasantly surprised at, at the variety of sizes that I got in this box, so. Next up is Apartment 9, which is sold at Kohl's. Um, it is the Stretch Slim Fit, size 16, 34, slash 35. This beautiful maroon color. And this one has gray buttons, like a charcoal dark gray. This thing, I'm not sure is a men's shirt and it is so incredibly worn. I don't know if it is supposed to look like that, but there's just so much wash wear on it. It is pretty though. So it's American Apparel, size small, and it is a floral print. I'm gonna try to sell it because I think it still is a good substantial piece. I had, I got to figure out if it's men's or women's. This can't be a women's shirt because it is way too long and way too large to be women's. So I'll give it a whirl. 
see how it goes. Next, we have a nice flannel shirt. This is by the brand Field and Stream, size large. I've never tried to sell this brand. I know that it's pretty popular, um, especially for outdoor enthusiasts. What is that? Piece of cardboard, thank goodness. Seems like a very nice and cozy shirt. And these are like a tortoiseshell buttons. I don't know why I feel the need to show the buttons to you, but they're all kind of different, so why not? <laughs> all right, next we have Trademark Co. Pull and Bear. Hmm. Um, size just says European large 40 Mexican and regular fits. A nice army green color, or maybe even an olive green. It's actually coming up more olive on camera, but it is more of a army green here. Seems to be in good condition. And uh, the buttons are actually branded with this bull or pull and bear. And we have what looks like a pretty old shirt. Uh, vintage silk it says circa 1969 size large it does say it's 100% silk but this does not feel like 100% silk so it's actually a short sleeve button front shirt these buttons are ooh, like a brown almost wood looking they might actually be wood I'll try to sell this. It seems to be in, in decent condition. Like I said, it definitely doesn't feel silk because it has this like textured pattern to it, but we shall see. Next is a seersucker type material. This is the brand LL Bean. Traditional fit, size large, tall. Seersucker shirt, long sleeve very very long because it's a tall and these buttons are again the classic cream like white color clear milky white <laughs> another flannel oh this one feels really nice this is gap size medium standard fit i really like the colors on this one very fall holiday colors even. This is Denim and Flower by Ricky Singh. Um, European size small, USA small, slim fit. And it is this mini, mini, mini polka dot in a maroon color, short sleeve. It has their tag down here too. What does that say? Create your own magic, it says. And all of the buttons are branded with their name. I don't, I, I think I've heard of this brand before, but I don't know how well it does, but it feels very nice. Okay, this next shirt is a summer. <laughs> it's either, Sama or Suma, um, but Sama makes sense because it's like summer, just abbreviated. Uh, size large, this is a Ramy and Cotton blend. And if I can get it here, it's got this tropical leaf print all over, kind of like a cream and yellow color, short sleeve. There is one small spot there I see. And um, these are also branded buttons. This is a not so manly color, but I don't judge what color you wanna wear. So this is Aureus, Aureus. It is a size extra large, 70% silk, 30% cotton. It is a short sleeve. these what are these buttons 
Oh my. They're very like iridescent looking. This is making me very itchy. Um, this is Ike, designed by Ike Behar. Uh, made in USA. It's a size 1636. It has a mini stripe. So it's an army green and then navy blue and white stripes. Long sleeve. And just the traditional non-branded buttons. Next is a black shirt. This is Isaac Mizrahi uh, Slim Fit. This is not the Four Target brand, which is good. Um, let's see, 100% cotton, size 16. A little bit of fading in the black, but not too bad. This is one of my favorite shirts, actually. So this is by the brand Hurley, size small. But look at this print. It's little hula girls dancing with all these palm trees, short sleeves. It is a very light color pink. Actually, it's not even coming across on the screen. This looks more peachy, but it is definitely more of a, of a pink color. And what are the buttons on this one? Kind of that wood looking button again. Next, we have a gray striped shirt. This is by Michael, Michael Kors. This is regular fit, non-iron. I hope that, oh, there's the tag. It is a size 15 and a half, 32 to 33. Long sleeves. I know I'm definitely not showing the shirts the way that they should be shown, but then I would have to go through and button every single one. And that's just crazy. <laughs> not enough time on my hands. Next is a Prince and Fox. This is a size extra large. Look at this, this is cool. So the back collar actually buttons down too. So you could unbutton the whole thing and have it be a stand up collar or, you know, not so flat against you. That's really neat. Never seen that before. It is a blue, almost like a navy blue and white print, plaid, plaid print. And buttons there. One of the reasons why I wanted to get this box is because I never have enough time in the thrift stores to look through men's or I never have the patience to start there. Um, I immediately go to women's because that's just what I'm used to selling and I'm really not too familiar with men's brands. So I thought that this box would be a good way to kind of introduce myself to some, some possibly good brands to sell. So this is a Tasso Elba regular fit. Elba? Yeah, it is Elba. I have a sweater uh, from this brand that's been in my closet for a very long time and it hasn't sold. So mm, not sure about this one. 16 and a half size large. It is a plaid gray and white colors. Long sleeve. These are just clear buttons, unbranded. Next we have, is this the one that I'm gonna donate? No, this one's fine. One of them has like wicked deodorant marks on it. Uh, Abercrombie, Aber, Abercrombie and Fitch. That's a very hard word for me to say for some reason. Um, size small. Did I say that? Size small. This smells very much like cologne, so it'll definitely need to be laundered. This beautiful maroon plaid. Again, perfect for the holiday months and winter months. We have another Tasso Elba Slim Fit. This uh, has no tag because it was cut out, so that's unfortunate. Um, but it is a plaid, like a tan or khaki color and white short sleeve. Oh, 
Look at these buttons. So they have like a white ring around them and then they're that tan color on the inside. That's kind of neat. Next is a very colorful shirt. This is Colors by Alexander Julian. I said Colors because it is the British spelling of color. <laughs> color. Um, cotton polyester size small, short sleeve. I really do like the colors on this. It's very vintage looking. In fact, this tag might be vintage, so that would make sense. And what do the buttons look like? Nothing fancy. Next, we have this beautiful powder blue color. This is the Gap, size extra large. I really like this color. And the print, it's like the perfect size plaid. And the buttons on this one is, again, like a tortoiseshell, just in a beige color. Oh yeah, I forgot, I got a coat. <laughs> this is like a lightweight jacket. Again, it's Gap. Size, small petite, which makes me think that it's not a men's jacket. But then again, it does look like a size small in men's, so maybe it is. I don't know what else SP would be. Do men have petite sizing? I, I didn't think that they did. Anyways, it's this like really durable feeling fabric, kind of like Lyocell or even Tencel. We will look at the fabric tag in a minute. And then it's just a classic like button front jacket, pockets. It, it reminds me of like a work chore coat, just not as thick. And it does have pockets up here at the breast area. So let's see. It is cotton and spandex. And it's from fall of 2016. And it says it's the stretch shirt moonless night. Next we have, what is this? Ooh, very, very faded. I don't. I don't even know what that says. N knee shade, N I shade. There might be some letters missing on that one. Um, another plaid shirt, pockets at the breast area, long sleeve. These buttons are gray. And oh, the interior is totally ripping apart here. That's an easy fix though, especially because it's underneath so you can't really see it. This has a very interesting feel to it as well. I wonder if there is a tag down here. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a Columbia shirt. That makes sense now. So there's a little tag it says Columbia down there. It's from possibly July of 2013. I'm not exactly sure how to read Columbia tag. So this is why it feels weird to me because it's a nylon, tactile nylon. I've never actually seen that type of material. Okay, next we have another Gap shirt. This is Gap Outlet. It is the slim fit size small. I love the colors on this one too. The fire sirens just started going up. Um, love this plaid. One little pocket there in front. Long sleeves. And these buttons are like a iridescent gray, dark gray. Ooh, another Columbia shirt? Yeah, look at, oh, okay, it, it is Omni Shade. I kind of figured it was missing some letters. Um, this is a size extra, extra large. Again, um, the same fabric content it feels like, but this one's in a lot better condition. Long sleeves. And these have dark blue buttons. Just a few more pieces. Next is Alfani. This is iron free. Size 17 and a half, extra large. 
does have this subtle stripe to it. It's all the same color, but um, the texture of the fabric makes it raised. One little pocket up here. Um, regular clear buttons. Not really showing the backs too well because all of the shirts are very long, so it's hard for me to hold them up, but you get the picture. Next is a Henry Grethel. That's a new one. Um, cotton polyester, size small, striped colors of like a tan or beige, blue and white, short sleeve. This looks very um, vintage to me as well. Someone did get a dry clean because there's their tag there. We have a Dockers brand. There, size large. Love this cobalt blue and black and white stripes. Button front, of course. I keep saying that, they're all button fronts. And then these are just clear white buttons. And last but not least is Sonoma Life and Style. This is a size large. Um, this is a Kohl's brand. Has a plaid striped effect to it. And just the classic clear buttons. So now that we have gone through all of the shirts, I can give you a review on this box. I'm very happy with all of the different sizes that I got. I like that it was both short and long sleeves. All of them were buttoned down. I got that one coat that was kind of strange, but that's okay. I will still sell it. And overall, everything seems to be in good condition. So again, if I keep everything, my cost of goods is going to be around $2. So you kind of can't go wrong with that. And I have a lot of brands that I need to research and look up, which is one of my favorite things about reselling in general. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up before you leave, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are not a subscriber yet, we would love to have you here. I put out videos at least once a week and I do a lot of unboxings. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.